I feel like it has been forever since I have made a video. Um, it is the day after Christmas and I am just kind of getting back into the swing of things and cleaning up the house a little bit. And it is also time to clean my studio. It is a disaster after the Christmas rush and I basically kind of just like abandoned it for the weekend before Christmas and Christmas itself. So I'm going to let you guys join me while I clean that. And um, what else? Yeah, um, I want to talk to you about my iPad that I got. Super excited, it was a gift from my in-laws and my parents. So um, I've been doing a lot with that. Also show you some new pin things and just catch up. Are you ready? I don't think you are. We're gonna have to do it anyway. Here's the studio. Oh my gosh. <laughs> almost even worse in the video uh yeah so this is my life right now we're gonna get it back in order and uh become sane again <laughs> of the things I want to talk to you guys about today because I feel like there's so much to catch up on. Um, not like formal, you know, but just so I don't forget. So one thing that's really exciting is that I was approached by Cat Sticker Club um, to see if they could use one of my cat illustrations for their monthly subscription. Um, so people subscribe to be in their sticker club and a portion of the proceeds, I I think it's 10% go to um, a rescue. So we set that up a few months ago and I am the artist for December. So there's still a few days left. If you subscribe for the month of December, you will get my cat illustration sticker exclusively through them. It's not something that I offer in my shop. So I think the subscription is around $3 a month. So that's something really fun. It's Cat Sticker Club. So they were kind enough to send me a few. And yes, yeah, so that's really exciting. Um, oh, we just had Christmas, obviously. And it was a busy day. We have four places to go to, but we managed to spend about three hours at each place. So that was good. Um, felt like we got to see everyone. And the day after Christmas, I always want to kind of freshen up so we spent the morning cleaning the house i did take down the christmas decorations i used to wait until after new year but i don't know this time it was just it was just time to kind of be fresh i guess i kind of put up my my stuff early i did it like at thanksgiving i think so anyway and now my studio is clean which feels great um yeah so speaking of the new year thinking about New Year's resolutions. I don't really make like super firm resolutions. Um, just because I'm always like thinking, <laughs> I'm always thinking about what I can be working on. It makes me sound really pretentious, but I do try to like be conscious of things that I want to um, improve upon, uh, whether it be like a business thing or something for myself. So um, one thing, just life-wise, ooh, I need to go get this to show you, is, well, yeah, hold on. Ooh, I should close this door. So, one of the things that I have as a goal is to use less plastic, which we already use um, reusable 
grocery bags. We started doing that when we moved to Hawaii because they don't even offer plastic grocery bags. Like, they're not in the store. So if you don't have a bag, you just have to carry your stuff out. So that was, like, a great way for us to start because it really, like, threw us into it. And now it feels, like, so ridiculous not to use a reusable grocery bag. But anyway, aside from that, we recycle, but, you know, there's always ways to improve. So one thing that we got, which does still have some plastic, but is this scrubber. Just purchased it today. I had been looking online at some, and a lot of them had horse hair. And I just, like, don't really know how that's obtained. I didn't know if, how I felt about that. So, um, we were at the grocery today, and I saw this, and it's bamboo, and I felt like this is a step in the right direction versus, like, our plasticky scrubber that is unusable within a month. And I used it this morning on, like, a really crusty thing, and it was amazing. Technically, it's a veggie scrubber, but it works. Also, I've had all of these pieces of fabric um in my like fabric box that I haven't known what to do with them I was kind of planning on making a quilt but that just hasn't happened so I decided to make some reusable produce bags for myself so I just you know sewed them really easily this is just some twill ribbon twill tape I don't know what you call it so yeah so I've got like just this plain um white cotton one and then this is actually from back when I was doing like textile pattern design surface design <coughs> I made this watercolor plaid fabric um and I've had this piece of it sitting around forever so I finally just decided to make some good use of it so that's a step in the right direction um, yeah, so that's kind of a, a thing I'm working on. I need to also design a stamp, a do not bend stamp for myself for my packages and maybe like a logo stamp so I'm not using the vinyl stickers on the recyclable packaging. Um, so yeah, that's one thing. Also, business-wise, I've really been enjoying making like the, the pins and all the fun illustrations that you guys enjoy. Um, so much this year this Christmas um slash like the whole holiday season you guys were so amazing like I've never had so many people purchase things from my shop that like I just made because I wanted to um usually it's like you know mostly commissions um and I feel like it was at least even this year and um I was kind of swamped with commissions and I really, I mean, I enjoyed, I enjoyed doing them, but, uh, it does get overwhelming and it takes away time from getting to make content for online, like on Instagram and here as part of the reason I didn't do any, um, videos because I had like 30 custom orders to do just within like the week before Christmas like the last week that I could ship them so uh, and that's not counting the fact that I've been doing Christmas orders for custom things since September so uh, one of my goals for this year is to cut back on commissioned pieces which would like include you know just pet portraits anything custom um, although I do enjoy them, I enjoy them less when I have like a hundred stacked up to do. So, um, that's another reason why my Patreon is so, um, exciting and important to me. Uh, if you don't know about it, I'm on Patreon. I have it linked below and, um, it is a way for you to support me to continue being able to make the kind of content that you like to see here on YouTube or on Instagram, as well as um, to have the time to work towards children's book illustration, which is a huge goal for me and have had to put that on the back burner for this um, season, basically since October. Um, and I have a few things I'd really love to be working on for that, as well as making more uh, pins and stickers and prints for the shop. So yeah, if you want to support, if you want to support me there, um, you can start just like a dollar a month. Seriously, I think 
sometimes it's like, oh, well, a dollar's not going to help, but it really does, and it adds up. Um, but you get things in return. You get a discount for a dollar a month as well as some behind-the-scenes stuff, and you can vote on polls about, you know, give your opinion on what kind of pin design I should do next, things like that. And um, let's see, a print in the mail, and the top tier actually does get um, custom portrait thing, custom work done for them. So, oh, and, and also exclusive videos. So anyway, that's not what this video is going to be about, but please do check it out. I would love it. And yes, speaking of pins and such, don't look at this, you know what this is. I have seen so many people with iPads and using Procreate and my mom has one and I'm just thinking like, oh my gosh, I wish I had one. <laughs> it sounds very like, you know, covetous, but, um, but I could just see how it could be a very beneficial thing for me to have and I got it as an early Christmas gift um, from my parents and my in-laws and so it's been so helpful doing not only pin designs, but like I sketched out my pet portraits for um, this season on it. And then I printed off like the sketch so that if I messed up, I could just print off the sketch and redo it, which I did have to do twice. So it was definitely worth it. Um, and yeah, and the pins have been going really well. So I thought I would show you guys um, the iPad. I got this case for it like a light pinky rose gold color and it's like a magnetized front that makes it automatically turn on when you open it which is really cool um and let's see oh enter my password so um it's been pretty cool i uh it's been a learning curve i feel like until i had this I had feelings towards digital art, somewhat negative feelings. Not that it didn't look great because I saw so many people doing digital art that I thought looked amazing, but I just, I think it was more like, I just, I envied the fact that people could like just change things so easily because with watercolor, you can't even like erase like you could with a pencil. Like once it's down, it's down and you have to start over if you make a mistake. So, um, which I do think really helped me to, you know, kind of improve my skills. But um, anyway, it's really nice just to like be able to try something and see what it looks like and then, you know, choose not to use it if you don't want to. So I've been um, working on some pin designs like I will show you this one is still available for pre-order it's not fully funded yet but it's a little sea otter I'm really excited about it something kind of different and 10% um, is going to be donated to the Ocean Conservancy um, and then also the Cinnabunny as you guys have named him or her on Instagram um, that's going to be another pen design and that one I have to get sent to my manufacturer like now. So anyway, there's just a crazy amount of brush types that you can use. Um, there is like a bit of a learning curve. I think like, so what I was going to say is like, it is harder than I thought because it's like when you start out drawing and you only draw with pencil and then you decide you're going to paint and you use acrylic. And when you use acrylic, you can just lay your things on top of each other and paint over something if you want. And then you're like, oh, I'm going to try watercolor. And then you realize that when you layer things, they don't layer in the same way. And that if you want there to be a white part of the painting, you don't use white paint. You just leave that part white. So anyway, it's just kind of like a new medium. And I do have a newfound respect for it because... Um, because yeah, it took me a little while to feel like semi comfortable with it, and I'm like not making super detailed things. So, oh, oh. hey guys, it's the next day, so that's why I'm in different clothes. Um, but I ended my video yesterday, 
um, a little early because I was going to see Mary Poppins Returns. <sighs> Guys, it was magic. I was transported. It was amazing. You have to see it. If you like musicals, you will like it. If you like magical things, I think you will like it. So anyway, and I actually, I just felt really inspired by it. And I feel like it gave me a few things that I wanted to add to my New Year's resolutions. Like I want to, like I always think about this and I never like make it an actual goal to do it, but I really like to draw more um, storybook people, like people from storybooks, whether it's like fairy tales or, um, or other stories. I think that that would be a good thing to do for me because I think that what I have learned is that I can draw people but they're like, I feel like when you look at the drawing, it lacks confidence. Like I didn't have a clear direction of what I was trying to make it look like. So I don't, I don't know if that makes any sense, but um, I want to work on that. So I'm going to try to draw some, uh, yeah, some people characters. And the other thing is that I... I've done a few little animated things before, but I have no training in it whatsoever. I just like, I found someone else on Instagram who had done something and she posted a little tutorial on it. But now that I have my iPad, I feel like I could maybe do it even more easily um, on Procreate. So not the whole animation, but just like the sequence of like, you know, the hand drawn portions. So I think I want to play with that and see what I can do. So. Yeah, that's those are, those are my ad, my additions. I also wanted to show you a few of my Christmas presents that I thought you guys might think were cool, um, especially because they are from some small businesses like me. So one of them is this necklace that my husband got me. Um, I had mentioned that I liked it a few months ago, and he was sneaky and got it. It is from Shop Shoal, S-H-O-A-L. I will link it below. Um, and I just love it because it makes me think of Oregon. I feel like it's like Oregon all in one necklace with the mountains and the pine trees and the humpback whale, which we got to see in Oregon. And it was like one of the most magical experiences of my life. So, um, so yes, I love it. I'm wearing this one today. And he managed, guys, to get, I don't know how it happened. Well, I do know how it happened. But if you are not familiar with Small Wild Shop, with Danielle Peterson of Small Wild Shop, you need to go acquaint yourself with her stuff because she makes these amazing um, porcelain animals that are hand-painted with like gold accents and they're just all amazing um, and not only that but she sells out in like five seconds like she posts all of them and then boom they're gone so he's tried like a few times throughout the past few years to get me something and he's never been able to do it and this time he was fast enough, he was waiting, hitting refresh, and anyway, he got one and I had no idea, so I was really excited. And not only did he get one, but, well, I mean, it is one, but it is, it's a seal, guys. And I don't know if you know this, but in Oregon we saw seals when we went to the beach and it was like just my favorite thing ever. I love them. Um, so much. So yes, I'm going to show you. Look at how cute it is. It's been around. So it's got this shiny, shiny gold spots and some little gray spots. This is so confusing. Little gray snout. Anyway, it's just really special to me. I love it. And it's just very tiny and cute. Um, so yeah, it just has good memories that I associate with it. So really, really fun and special. So yes, you can go check her out. Oh, yes. Also, from the hubby, I got, because marine mammals are my favorite uh, group of animals. And 
So, he got me a guide to the marine mammals of the world. This is so cool. I got to look through it a little bit. Um, not as much as I want to. But, um, I mean, just can you handle this? Look at that. Oh my gosh. It's perfect. So, um, each section has, like, you know, a drawing, their, like, range map, um, the size of them, what they eat, and then also photos. And so not only does it have, like, seals and walrus, um, it also has dolphins and whales and otters. Did you know that there's um, ocean otters like sea otters in South America because I didn't I thought that North America was the only ones that had that but they are there too so anyway but it's a different kind so just really excited to look through this more and um hopefully get some inspiration well guys that is it for this video if you would like I would love to hear what your new year's resolutions are down below you can comment and we can chat about it and if you have art questions or something feel free to put your question down there I do read all the comments and respond and if you enjoyed this video you can like and subscribe and also check out those shops I told you about down below um, and also my patreon if that's something that interests you have a great day